Hi guys, this is take two of my tutorial on how to create a text-based game in Notepad++. For a start, you'll need Notepad++, which I'll provide in the description below. Um, I'm new to YouTube, and I hope this video is okay. As you can notice, I've got Bandicam. I'll be getting the premium version soon, so we won't have the address at the top. So that's good. Uh, I'll start by saying we need to do at echo off. Then we'll do a title. So if we do title, I'll call it tucked. Then we can set a color, which is kind of cool. Uh, we'll do OA, which is oh, it has to be zero A. Uh, OA, so that we it will be a binary sort of color. And then do echo. Well, well, it's going to be a quiz game, so we'll do echo. Welcome to the quiz game. Then we'll set up a little menu, so it'll be Echo 1. By the way, Echo does print on the screen whatever you say. So I've put Echo 1 Play Game. So on the screen, it'll display Play Game. We'll do Echo 2. And we'll do Quit. Um, next, we need to set up where the command's actually going to go. A max slash P. We'll call it Command. This is what you have to name it do equals and then this second command this is what will show up for the person to type their command next to we'll give ourselves a bit of space and we do if and you have to do percent call it command because that's what we've called it above double equals make sure you do that otherwise it won't work space one go to start and then the start will make sense in a minute then we do if percent command percent you could copy and paste this equals equals two then we do exit now make sure you don't do quit because that's a mistake I made last time if you do quit it won't work well it will still close but not in an exit way in a I don't understand that command way so now we do two spaces to give ourselves some space do start and we'll do CLS which clears the menu off the screen so we can start with a clear screen and we'll do echo and this is going to be a really simple question. Question 1. What is 1 plus 1? Now I've seen lots of these tutorials, but barely anyone actually does a voice with the tutorial. So I thought, to help out you guys, I will do it with a voice. Because it makes it a lot easier to understand, rather than with some stupid music. Like YouTube's National Anthem, that horrible song. Not sure what it's actually called, but it's a very annoying song. So as you can see, I'm doing the same thing as I did above. I'll do at start. I'll do question mark, and the command will be next to that. We then do if percent, and because we called it start instead of command this time, we do start equals equals one. Go to wrong because that answer would be wrong. If percent start percent equals equals two, go to wrong again. Oh, spelled wrong wrong. Derp again. I don't even like the word derp. Alright, start. Oh, start. E oh there we go. Make sure there's a space there. Make sure they're equals. I'm really messing up today. Alright, three, go to right. Then make sure you do pause, otherwise the program will run through. And I'm gonna test this works now. So I'm just going to pause the video and get it up for you. Also, something else I forgot to say is we have to save it. So do file, save as. And it has to be saved as a .bat file. So I'm going to do tuck2, because I've already done a tuck. And we'll do bat. It has to be bat. You can either do it through the save as type, or you can type .bat. Otherwise, it will run as a text file, and it won't run as a game, and that's not what we want. So save it as tuck.bat. I'll be right back showing you how it works. See you in a second. So here's a game we just coded, as you can see, in the color I set it, OA. It says, welcome to the quiz game, play game or quit game. And command, as I set it to say, so we want to play, so we press 1, enter. It takes us to question 1. And I just noticed right there, I've made a spelling mistake. It's two A's, so it's what is 1 plus 1? So I think 1 plus 1 is 2. And it's, it, 
isn't going to do anything yet because we haven't coded this and I'll be coding this next episode which will probably be out tomorrow maybe today and it will close because we haven't coded it now I'm going to open it again to show you the quit function that works so we do quit so as you saw when we played play game and did the question and because we haven't done it it didn't work but as you see with quit it won't say anything it will just close because we coded it right now here's our game I suggest you stop and type this if you haven't already and I'll see you next episode thank you for watching goodbye